Hi there and welcome to ANZ Golf World. I'm Mark Leishman from the Sunshine Coast this week and more specifically these are the Glasshouse Mountains which were originally discovered by Lieutenant James Cook. He thought they resembled the glass furnaces from his hometown in Yorkshire. It's a wonderful spot inland of course but we're heading to the coast today to near Caloundra and a Greg Norman design layout called Pelican Waters. On the southern tip of Australia's Sunshine Coast lies a golf course designed by one of the game's greats. Pelican Waters is Greg Norman's first course design in the famed region and lies within the stunning surrounds of Golden Beach. The Great White Shark crafting a layout now ranked the number one course on the Sunshine Coast. Pelican Waters Golf Club is located in southeast Queensland. Uh, it's an hour north of Brisbane. Uh, we are located right near the Glasshouse Mountains and we do have a lot of waterways and, and, and things like that in the area as well, so it does make it a very good holiday destination. It was opened in January 2001 by Greg. Greg wanted something different for all the 18 holes, something that, that challenges players of all standards. A lot of deep bunkers, but having said that, there's a lot of short holes for some of the shorter hitters, um, so it does cater to a wide range of golfers, and it is, it is a course that suits you know, all different levels of golfer. Pelican Waters likes to set itself apart from most of the local courses through its focus on providing the best golfing experience you can get on the Sunshine Coast. Just 6,800 metres in length, some brutal bunkering makes Pelican Waters a tough test. We are a shorter course um, in, in today's terms, so it does cater to a, a wide range of golfer. There's a lot of water that comes into play on the majority of the holes, as well as native bushland and swamp areas out the back nine as well. Well, when I came to the Sunshine Coast, this was not the sort of sand I was expecting to be lounging in. And when you look at those lips, bigger than Mick Jagger. If you're an experienced golfer, it's definitely a course that would challenge you, as well as if you're a social casual golfer, it's a course that will also give you a lot of enjoyment as well. We begin our tour of this Greg Norman design with a great challenge at number one. First hole, relatively short par four. It's an easy starting hole. It's driver off the tee. Um, there are bunkers on the left-hand side which come into play off the tee and up the right hand side we've got a couple of hazards that also come into play. So up, up the right hand side of the fairway is your ideal shot. Into the green that leaves you about a 9 iron in, about 140 metres in. There's a bunker that comes in at the front of the green. Uh, it's a relatively deep bunker, it's only small but it does catch some of the miss hits and it does make par very difficult. It's a big green, play to the centre of the green and make a two part par. It's relatively flat however, the, the green does slope from back to front. Number two, another short par four to start, 310 metres off the championship tees. The ideal shot off the tee is, a, is an iron or a, or a rescue club. Don't need to take driver here as it's, it's a short hole. Up the left hand side's a perfect shot, leaving you about 100 metres into the green. And it's, a, it's only a sand wedge to a pitching wedge in. Uh, the only problem with this green is it's, it's very narrow. Uh, and there's a lot of fairway and, and greenside bunkers that come into play, anywhere from 50 metres to greenside. Um, so you want to keep your ball to the right hand side of the green, avoiding any of those traps. So after two short par fours, I take on one of Pelican Water's best par threes. Hole six, nicknamed the Glasshouse. It's one of the uh, signature holes on the course, 150 metres off the championship tees. It's a very difficult hole. We've got water at the front leading up into a, a fairway bunker. Then the green is located. It's a kidney-shaped green, um, so it's very difficult to hit into. Plus, we've got fairway bunkers on the back of the green also. Most of the players will try and get, uh, get on the green. Just anywhere on the centre of the green gives you a, a relatively simple two-putt. However, there is a bailout option on the right-hand side that some of the shorter hitters tend to go for, leave themselves an easy pitch shot up into the green. It's a spine in the centre of the green, um, so anything to the right of the green, you've got an uphill putt. Anything to the left is an uphill putt also to a centre pin. On the back nine, the course remains a challenge, especially at the long par 5 16th. 16th is the last par 5 on the golf course, uh, and it's one of Greg's finer holes. It's very difficult to, to finish on these last three, especially the 16th. It's a long par 5, 485 metres off the championship tees. The ideal shot here is a 4-iron, is 3-iron three or a hybrid club to the gum tree on the right-hand side. It is a narrow tee shot, so avoid hitting a, a driver or a three-wood. The second shot, 4-iron to a 3-iron, keep it up the centre of the fairway to a couple of green soil fairway bunkers, and then a pitch shot in, leaving you about 100 metres to 120 metres into the green. There's bush either side, and it's very narrow pitch shot into the green. Plus, we've got a, a fairway bunker, a greenside bunker in the front of the green also. It's a very small green, so the further are you up for two, the easier it is to hit in to the green. Avoid trying to hit a, a seven or an eight iron in, as it's very hard to stop on the green. And now to finish the round, we come across the jewel in the Pelican Waters crown. The 18th hole, it's Greg's finest hole on the golf course. It's our last hole, and it's 417 metres off the black tees. 
It's a very difficult finishing hole. It's dog leg left. Into the breeze off the blacks makes it a very difficult driving hole. Second shot, as I said, it's a very long hole. Uh, you're looking at about a three to a four iron into the green. Try and keep it at the centre of the green where possible. It's a relatively flat green, however, there's fairway bunkers uh, leading up to the green as well as green side bunkers either side, make it a very difficult up and down. It's a very large green. Uh, there's a very big catchment area on the green, so obviously hitting a long iron in just the centre of the green is a perfect aiming point. However, if you do miss the green, it's unrewarding. It's good to finish with a bogey, especially some of the high handicappers. They're always happy to finish with the bogey. If you are trying to catch your playing partners, uh, you know, you need to hit a couple of really good shots to, to get into the green. As you walk off the green here at Pelican Waters, you can be sure you won't be disappointed with the day's play. Well, it's a short course by modern standards, but like any course designed by the Great White Shark, it sure packs a bite. A true challenge that tests any golfer. It's the perfect way to experience one of Greg Norman's signature courses in his native land. Sunshine Coast, obviously the name, attracts a lot of tourism. Um, we get a lot of local people, as well as New Zealand um, and international visitors all year round. Climb up here is very you know, healthy for golf. It's warm a lot of the time. Pelican Waters Resort and Spa is located next door. Um, they offer a, a couple of different packages, stay and play, which includes accommodation and two rounds of golf, including the motorised cart. Uh, and then we've got a, a play and pamper package, which includes a round of golf for one person, and for the other person who's not a golfer, they can enjoy the spa for an hour and a half. And if the great white shark is the quintessential Australian golfing hero, then Umundi is the quintessential Aussie town and its bi-weekly farmer's markets are just as popular. Well, the Sunshine Coast isn't all about beaches and golf courses. You can travel about 20 minutes from the main centre of Noosa to Yamundi. Now, this is the centre of a fabulous market. In fact, it's the premier artisan market in the whole of Australia. And it's kind of special. Half an hour drive from Pelican Waters, the Yamundi markets are found in the Sunshine Coast's hinterland. The markets began in 1979 and have grown to see 1.8 million people visit annually. Locals make, bake, grow or sow all the products on offer across 600 stalls. This one will improve your golf because the designer, who was me, yeah. loves golf. You actually lose three off your handicap wearing this hat, yes. <laughs> so from the Great White Shark to the Great White Marco. <laughs> Whether it's fashion for the fairways or food for the family, the Umundi markets are an iconic part of any visit to the Sunshine Coast. And that's our show, and it brings to an end our journey around the Sunshine Coast. And Pelican Waters, a challenging but really interesting course, you'd thoroughly enjoy it, as are all the courses here on the Sunshine Coast, where the weather is perfect, you bring the family, you bring your togs, and especially you bring your golf clubs, you'll have a wonderful time, I assure you of that. From ANZ Golf World, we'll see you next week.